Hello and welcome to a special edition of Razor Wire. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. This is going to be one of our interview pieces of content that we're going to be doing. I've interviewed a number of people. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be interviewing ChatGPT. Um, I'm going to be asking it various different questions around information security, the usage of AI, uh, in information security, as well as a number of other questions as well. And let's just kind of see what we get as a kind of response. Full disclosure here, um, I pre-generated um, the content of these questions and I put them into a slightly different format so I could get like a, a, a vocal playback of what the questions are. So I'll be asking the questions as though I was asking anybody else a question um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what the responses are. It should be quite interesting. Um, so let's get started. Hello, ChatGPT. My name is Jim and I'm a cybersecurity professional. And I was wondering if I could have just a few moments to interview you. Hello, Jim. As an AI language model, I am always available to assist you. You can ask me any questions you have regarding cybersecurity or any other related topics, and I will do my best to provide you with accurate and helpful information. Please feel free to proceed with your interview questions. Wow, this is interesting. So, ChatGPT, in your opinion, what is the greatest threat to businesses in today's world? There are numerous threats that businesses face in today's world, and the most significant threat may vary depending on the industry, size of the business, and other factors. However, some of the most common threats that businesses face today include Cybersecurity threats. Cybersecurity threats such as hacking, malware, and ransomware attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated and are a significant threat to businesses. These attacks can result in data breaches, financial losses, and damage to a company's reputation. Insider threats. Insider threats are also a significant concern for businesses. Employees or contractors with access to sensitive data or systems can intentionally or unintentionally cause data breaches or other security incidents. Natural disasters. Natural disasters such as floods, fires, earthquakes, and hurricanes can disrupt business operations and cause significant financial losses. Supply chain disruptions. Supply chain disruptions can occur due to factors such as transportation issues, production delays, and quality control issues, which can result in delayed deliveries, lost revenue, and damage to a company's reputation. In my opinion, the most significant threat to businesses in today's world is cybersecurity threats. Cybersecurity incidents can cause significant financial losses, reputational damage, and legal liabilities, and businesses of all sizes and industries are vulnerable to these threats. Therefore, it is essential for businesses to prioritize cybersecurity and implement robust security measures to protect their assets, data, and systems. Based on your data set, how important is cybersecurity for both public and private business today? So, based on your data set, how important is cybersecurity for both public and private businesses today? What's your view on that? As an AI language model, I don't have direct access to data sets, but I can provide you with some information on the importance of cybersecurity for public and private businesses based on industry reports and trends. Cybersecurity has become increasingly important for both public and private businesses in recent years. With the rise of digital technologies and the increasing amount of sensitive data being stored and transmitted online, businesses are facing more sophisticated and targeted cybersecurity threats than ever before. These threats can have severe consequences, such as data breaches, financial losses, and damage to a company's reputation. In particular, for public businesses, cybersecurity is critical because they are subject to regulatory requirements and have a duty to protect their customers' sensitive information. A data breach or cyber attack could result in significant financial penalties and damage to a company's reputation, which could negatively impact their stock price and shareholder value. For private businesses, cybersecurity is equally important as they may not have the same level of regulatory oversight as public companies, but they still face the same cybersecurity threats. 
Additionally, smaller businesses may be particularly vulnerable to cyber attacks because they may not have the same level of resources to invest in cybersecurity as larger organizations. Overall, cybersecurity is crucial for both public and private businesses today, and businesses of all sizes and industries need to prioritize cybersecurity to protect their assets, data, and systems from evolving threats. Wow, I'm actually very impressed, actually. Um, Okay, so ChatGPT, in your opinion and based on the data sets that you have, how fast is the cybersecurity landscape changing in the world, you know, in the world, in the industry today? The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving and changing at a rapid pace. As technology advances and new threats emerge, the cybersecurity industry must adapt and develop new strategies and solutions to mitigate risks. Some factors that contribute to the fast-paced nature of the cybersecurity landscape include technological advances, as technology advances, new threats and vulnerabilities emerge. For example, the increasing use of Internet of Things, IoT, devices has created new attack surfaces and vulnerabilities that cybersecurity professionals must address. Sophisticated attackers, cyber attackers are becoming increasingly sophisticated and are using advanced tactics and techniques to evade detection and gain unauthorized access to networks and systems. Regulatory changes, Changes in regulatory requirements, such as data protection laws and compliance requirements, can also impact the cybersecurity landscape and require organizations to adapt their security practices accordingly. Emerging threats, the emergence of new threats, such as ransomware attacks and supply chain attacks, can also rapidly shift the cybersecurity landscape and require organizations to quickly respond to mitigate risks. Overall, the cybersecurity landscape is changing at an unprecedented pace, and it is essential for organizations to stay informed about emerging threats and developments in the industry to ensure they have the appropriate security measures in place to protect their assets, data, and systems. Very good, very good. Um, So, in your opinion, what are the top five cybersecurity concerns that organizations should have? based on what you've said, based on the data sets that you have. Based on current industry trends and threats, here are the top five cybersecurity concerns that businesses should have. Phishing and social engineering attacks. Phishing and social engineering attacks continue to be a significant threat to businesses. These attacks use deceptive tactics to trick employees into divulging sensitive information or installing malware, which can lead to data breaches or other security incidents. Ransomware attacks. Ransomware attacks have become increasingly prevalent in recent years and can have a devastating impact on businesses. These attacks encrypt a company's data and demand payment to restore access, which can result in significant financial losses and reputational damage. Insider threats. Insider threats can come from employees, contractors, or other trusted individuals who have access to sensitive data or systems. These individuals can intentionally or unintentionally cause data breaches or other security incidents, making it essential for businesses to implement appropriate access controls and monitoring measures. Supply chain attacks. Supply chain attacks target the vendors and partners that businesses rely on and can have a ripple effect across multiple organizations. These attacks can compromise the security of products and services, making it essential for businesses to perform due diligence on their suppliers and partners. Cloud security. As more businesses move their data and systems to the cloud, cloud security has become a critical concern. Businesses need to ensure that they have appropriate security measures in place to protect their data and systems in the cloud and that they are compliant with relevant regulations and standards. Overall, businesses need to be vigilant and proactive in addressing these and other cybersecurity concerns to protect their assets, data, and systems from evolving threats. Implementing appropriate security measures, training employees on cybersecurity best practices, and staying informed about emerging threats are all essential steps that businesses can take to mitigate risks. Wow, this is this is far more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I mean, obviously, I read through some of the transcript, but this is really good stuff, actually. This is really efficient and effective. 
So how effective is cybersecurity in the business world at the moment? The effectiveness of cybersecurity in the business world varies depending on several factors, such as the size and industry of the organization, the maturity of its security program, and the nature of the threats it faces. In general, cybersecurity is an ongoing process, and no organization can guarantee that they are 100% secure from all cyber threats. However, businesses that invest in cybersecurity and implement appropriate security measures can significantly reduce their risk of a cyber attack or data breach. Some measures that businesses can take to improve their cybersecurity effectiveness include Conducting regular risk assessments and vulnerability scans to identify and prioritize security risks. Implementing strong access controls, including two-factor authentication and least privilege access, to protect against unauthorized access. Implementing security awareness training for employees to educate them about the risks of phishing and social engineering attacks and how to recognize and report suspicious activity. Regularly monitoring and analyzing network traffic and system logs to detect and respond to security incidents promptly. Implementing a disaster recovery and business continuity plan to ensure that critical systems and data can be restored in the event of a cyber attack or other disaster. Overall, businesses that prioritize cybersecurity and take proactive steps to mitigate risks can significantly improve their effectiveness in protecting their assets, data, and systems from cyber threats. However, as the cybersecurity landscape continues to evolve, businesses must remain vigilant and adapt their security measures to stay ahead of emerging threats. Fantastic. So let's move on to like AI. Um, ChatGPT. Can AI help us secure our organizations from cyber attack? And if so, how? Yes, AI can help us secure organizations from cyber attacks in several ways. Here are some examples. Threat detection and response. AI can be used to detect and respond to cyber threats in real time. By analyzing vast amounts of data and identifying patterns and anomalies, AI algorithms can quickly identify potential threats and respond before they can cause significant damage. Predictive analytics. AI can use predictive analytics to anticipate and prevent cyber attacks before they happen. By analyzing historical data and identifying patterns and trends, AI can identify potential vulnerabilities and help organizations take proactive measures to address them before they can be exploited by attackers. Fraud detection. AI can be used to detect and prevent fraud by analyzing transactional data and identifying suspicious activity. This can help organizations detect and prevent cyber attacks such as phishing and social engineering attacks. User behavior analytics, AI can be used to monitor and analyze user behavior on networks and systems. This can help organizations detect insider threats, such as employees or contractors who may be accessing data or systems inappropriately or engaging in malicious activity. Cybersecurity automation, AI can be used to automate routine cybersecurity tasks, such as patch management and vulnerability scanning. This can help organizations improve their security posture and free up IT resources to focus on more complex security tasks. Overall, AI has the potential to revolutionize the way we approach cybersecurity by enabling organizations to detect and respond to threats more quickly and efficiently. However, AI is not a silver bullet, and it is important to remember that it is just one tool in a broader cybersecurity strategy. Organizations must still implement appropriate security measures, train employees on cybersecurity best practices, and stay informed about emerging threats to effectively protect themselves from cyber attacks. It sounds like AI can be of a quite a significant benefit to any organization. I suppose one of the big questions really is, is AI going to replace human cybersecurity professionals in the future? Is that something that, that, that we need to be concerned about? AI is unlikely to replace human cybersecurity professionals entirely in the future. While AI can help automate some routine tasks and improve the efficiency of cybersecurity operations, human cybersecurity professionals bring unique skills and expertise that are difficult to replace. 
For example, human cybersecurity professionals possess critical thinking skills and the ability to make complex decisions based on incomplete or uncertain information, which is essential for responding to new and emerging threats. Human professionals also bring creativity and innovation to problem solving, which can help organizations stay ahead of cyber criminals who are constantly adapting their tactics. Moreover, cybersecurity is not just about technology, it's also about people and processes. Human cybersecurity professionals play a critical role in developing and implementing security policies and procedures, providing security training to employees, and managing the overall cybersecurity strategy. However, AI can complement human cybersecurity professionals by helping them identify and respond to threats more quickly and efficiently. AI can also help improve the accuracy of threat detection and reduce the risk of false positives or false negatives, which can help organizations focus their resources more effectively. Overall, while AI will undoubtedly play an increasingly important role in cybersecurity, human cybersecurity professionals will continue to be a vital part of the cybersecurity landscape, providing essential skills and expertise that AI cannot replace. Well, that's good to hear. Um, I mean, is it then the case that human cybersecurity professionals with an artificial intelligence counterpart could be an extremely strong countermeasure for future cyber defense within any organization? Yes, it is likely that human cybersecurity professionals with an AI counterpart could be an extremely strong countermeasure for future cyber defense of our organizations. This combination of human expertise and AI technology can provide a more comprehensive and effective defense against cyber threats. Human cybersecurity professionals can bring their unique skills and experience to the table, such as their ability to analyze complex situations, think critically, and make decisions based on incomplete or uncertain information. They can also provide a human touch to cybersecurity operations, such as communicating with stakeholders and responding to incidents with empathy and understanding. AI, on the other hand, can help automate routine tasks, such as threat detection and incident response, and provide valuable insights based on data analysis. AI can analyze vast amounts of data quickly and accurately, which can help identify potential threats and vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by attackers. Moreover, the combination of human cybersecurity professionals and AI can help organizations improve their overall cybersecurity posture by providing a more proactive and adaptive defense. Human professionals can use their experience and knowledge to develop and implement security policies and procedures, while AI can continuously monitor and analyze network traffic and system logs to identify and respond to emerging threats. Overall, the collaboration between human cybersecurity professionals and AI technology has the potential to significantly improve the effectiveness and efficiency of cybersecurity operations and provide a more robust defense against cyber threats. Fantastic. Um, and I totally agree. Totally agree. One of the concerns is, you know, what happens if actual malicious individuals, hackers, crackers, however you want to term it, malicious actors, were to get hold of artificial intelligence themselves and utilize that te technology, what would we have to be worried about? If malicious hackers were to gain access to AI technology, there are a number of potential risks and threats that organizations and individuals should be concerned about. Here are a few examples. Weaponized AI. Malicious hackers could use AI to develop powerful new cyber weapons that are capable of carrying out sophisticated attacks on a large scale, such as advanced phishing or malware attacks. AI-enhanced social engineering. Social engineering is a common tactic used by cyber criminals to trick individuals into divulging sensitive information or taking harmful actions. With the help of AI, social engineering attacks could become much more sophisticated and effective. AI-generated fake content, AI technology can be used to create convincing fake videos, images, and audio recordings that are difficult to distinguish from real content. This could be used to spread false information or create fake news stories that have real-world consequences. Autonomous cyber attacks, with the help of AI, 
cybercriminals could create autonomous cyber attack systems that are capable of identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities without any human intervention. Deepfakes and other AI enabled fraud. AI can be used to create deepfakes, which are realistic but fraudulent representations of individuals. These deepfakes could be used for a range of fraudulent activities, such as impersonating executives, committing financial fraud, or even election interference. Overall, the potential risks and threats associated with malicious hackers gaining access to AI technology are significant, and it is essential that organizations and individuals take steps to protect themselves against these threats. Just out of interest, hypothetically, what would happen if a defensive cybersecurity AI was pitted against a malicious cyber criminals AI in, you know, an attack pattern in a battle, or however you want to term it. If a defensive cybersecurity AI were pitted against a malicious cybercriminal AI, it would essentially be a battle of wits between two AI systems. The defensive AI would be designed to detect and respond to malicious activities, such as identifying and blocking suspicious network traffic and identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities in the system. It would use machine learning algorithms to analyze large amounts of data and detect patterns that could indicate an attack. On the other hand, the malicious AI would be designed to evade detection by the defensive AI and carry out attacks on the system. It would use similar machine learning algorithms to identify weaknesses in the system and find ways to exploit them. In this scenario, the outcome would depend on a number of factors, such as the sophistication of the AI systems, the resources available to each side, and the specific techniques used by each side. It is possible that the defensive AI could detect and mitigate the attacks carried out by the malicious AI, or it could be overwhelmed by the volume and complexity of the attacks. However, it is worth noting that this scenario is highly hypothetical, and it is unlikely that such a direct confrontation between defensive and malicious AI systems would occur in the real world. Instead, organizations typically deploy defensive AI systems as part of a broader cybersecurity strategy that includes a range of other technologies and human expertise to defend against cyber threats. Okay. If the direction that we're going is to kind of integrate artificial intelligence into security and IT infrastructure solutions, what would you recommend we do to secure the AI itself from being hacked and used inappropriately. Securing AI systems is becoming an increasingly important aspect of cybersecurity as AI is integrated into security and IT infrastructures and solutions. Here are some recommendations for securing AI systems. Implement strong access controls. To prevent unauthorized access to AI systems, it's important to implement strong access controls that limit who can interact with the AI system and what actions they can perform. Secure the data used to train AI models. AI models are only as good as the data used to train them, so it's important to ensure that the data used to train AI models is protected against unauthorized access, modification, or deletion. Implement strong encryption. To protect AI systems from cyber attacks, it's important to implement strong encryption to protect data both at rest and in transit. Regularly test and audit AI systems to ensure that AI systems are working as intended and are not vulnerable to cyber attacks. It's important to regularly test and audit AI systems to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Use AI to secure AI. Finally, organizations can use AI to help secure AI systems. For example, they can use AI-based anomaly detection systems to identify unusual behavior or activity within the AI system itself, or they can use AI-based security tools to proactively identify and respond to cyber threats. That's really interesting. Um, so where do you see, you know, moving back to the broader base, where do you see the future of cybersecurity based on the patterns that we're seeing today? Based on what we are seeing today, I see the future of cybersecurity as a complex and ever-evolving landscape where organizations must constantly adapt and innovate to keep pace with emerging threats. Some of the trends that are likely to shape the future of cybersecurity include the increasing use of AI and machine learning. As cyber threats become more sophisticated and complex, 
organizations will increasingly rely on AI and machine learning to detect and respond to threats in real time. The growing importance of data privacy, with the proliferation of data and the increasing value placed on personal information, organizations will need to prioritize data privacy and protection as a key aspect of their cybersecurity strategy. The shift towards a more holistic approach to cybersecurity, organizations will need to move away from a siloed approach to cybersecurity and instead adopt a more holistic approach that encompasses people, processes, and technology. The rise of new technologies and threats, with the increasing adoption of emerging technologies such as the Internet of Things, IoT, cloud computing, and 5G, new vulnerabilities and threats will emerge that organizations must be prepared to address. Overall, the future of cybersecurity will require organizations to be nimble, adaptive, and proactive in their approach to cybersecurity. They will need to prioritize investment in cybersecurity technology and talent, while also focusing on developing a strong cybersecurity culture that emphasizes awareness, training, and accountability. So what are your top tips for organizations looking to secure themselves from cybercrime in, in today's world? Here are some top tips for organizations looking to secure themselves from cybercrime. Conduct a thorough risk assessment. Before developing a cybersecurity strategy, it's important to understand the unique risks and vulnerabilities facing your organization. This includes identifying critical assets, assessing potential threats, and evaluating the effectiveness of existing security measures. Develop a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. Based on the results of the risk assessment, develop a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy that includes a range of technical and non-technical measures. This may include implementing multi-factor authentication, conducting regular security audits, and providing cybersecurity training to employees. Prioritize data protection and privacy. Given the increasing value of personal data and the risks associated with data breaches, Organizations should prioritize data protection and privacy as a key aspect of their cybersecurity strategy. This includes implementing strong data encryption, maintaining data backups, and complying with relevant data protection regulations. Monitor and respond to threats in real time. To detect and respond to cyber threats in real time, organizations should implement advanced threat monitoring and incident response capabilities. This may include deploying security information and event management CM, tools, conducting regular vulnerability scans, and developing incident response plans. Foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness. Finally, organizations should foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness that emphasizes the importance of cybersecurity and encourages employees to take an active role in protecting the organization. This includes providing regular cybersecurity training and awareness programs, promoting good cybersecurity practices, and holding employees accountable for their actions. Out of a lot of those, I mean, what key technologies would you recommend for, for your defense in depth in your organization? Defense in depth is a cybersecurity strategy that involves deploying multiple layers of security controls to protect against different types of cyber threats. Here are some key technologies that can be used to implement a defense in depth approach. Firewall. A firewall is a network security device that monitors and filters incoming and outgoing network traffic based on a set of predefined rules. Firewalls are an important first line of defense in a defense in depth approach. Intrusion Detection and Prevention System, IDPS and IDPS is a security solution that monitors network traffic for signs of known or unknown cyber threats. IDPSs can help identify and block attacks before they can do damage. Secure Email Gateway, email is a common vector for cyber attacks, so it's important to implement a secure email gateway that can block spam, malware, and other threats before they reach users. Data Loss Prevention, DLP DLP solutions are designed to protect sensitive data by preventing unauthorized access, modification, or exfiltration of data. This technology can help organizations comply with data protection regulations and prevent data breaches. Endpoint protection. Endpoint protection solutions are designed to protect individual devices, such as laptops, desktops, and mobile devices, from cyber threats. 
These solutions typically include antivirus software, firewalls, and intrusion detection systems. Security Information and Event Management, CMSCM solution provides real-time analysis of security alerts generated by network hardware and applications. By collecting and analyzing data from across the organization, CM solutions can help identify and respond to potential cyber threats. Multi-factor authentication, MFA MFA solutions require users to provide multiple forms of authentication, such as a password and a biometric scan, before they can access sensitive systems or data. This can help prevent unauthorized access to critical resources. Overall, a defense in-depth approach requires a combination of technologies and strategies to protect against a wide range of cyber threats. By implementing multiple layers of security controls, organizations can reduce their risk of a successful cyber attack. Just out of interest, based on the current data that you have, um, how often should organizations test their information security countermeasures? And is, is there a strong case for, uh, you know, continuous pen testing, which is becoming an extremely popular request for organisations? Organisations should regularly test their information security countermeasures to ensure that they are effective and up-to-date. The frequency of testing will depend on various factors such as the size of the organisation, the complexity of the IT infrastructure, and the level of risk. As a general rule, testing should be done at least annually, or whenever significant changes are made to the IT environment. Continuous penetration testing is becoming increasingly popular and can be a valuable addition to an organization's security program. Continuous penetration testing involves conducting regular, automated security assessments to identify vulnerabilities and potential attack vectors. This approach allows organizations to quickly identify and remediate security issues before they can be exploited by cyber attackers. There are several benefits to continuous penetration testing. Early detection of vulnerabilities. Continuous testing can help identify vulnerabilities as soon as they are introduced into the IT environment, allowing organizations to fix them before they can be exploited. Improved response times. Continuous testing can help organizations respond more quickly to security incidents by providing real-time alerts and notifications. Enhanced risk management, continuous testing provides a more comprehensive and ongoing view of an organization's security posture, enabling better risk management and decision-making. Compliance requirements, some regulations and industry standards require regular testing and assessments to ensure compliance. In summary, continuous penetration testing can provide an extra layer of security for organizations and is a valuable addition to any security program. However, it should not be the only form of testing and should be used in conjunction with other security assessments and best practices. Good, good advice there. Very good advice. Okay, now I ask this question for everyone I interview and... Uh, Let's see how an AI answers this one. I've had to modify my question slightly. Um, finally, is, is there a message you would like to sort of send out to the information security community? As an AI language model, I do not have personal beliefs or messages. However, I can offer some general advice to the information security community. Cybersecurity is an ongoing battle that requires constant vigilance and adaptation. Cybercriminals are constantly evolving their tactics and techniques, and it is essential for organizations to stay one step ahead. One of the most important things that organizations can do to improve their security posture is to prioritize cybersecurity and make it a core part of their business strategy. This involves investing in the right technology and tools, establishing clear policies and procedures, and providing ongoing training and education to employees. It is also essential to stay up to date with the latest trends and developments in cybersecurity and to share information and best practices with others in the community. Collaboration and information sharing can help organizations stay ahead of emerging threats and develop more effective defenses. Finally, it is important to remember that cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. 
Every employee, from the CEO to the frontline worker, plays a role in protecting the organization from cyber threats. By working together and staying vigilant, we can help ensure a safer and more secure digital future. And most definitely some very wise words there from, from our uh, artificial intelligence. I think that's the end of this particular interview. Normally we, we you know, have a few other dis- sort of discussionary pieces, but obviously it's not going to work particularly well with uh, an artificial intelligence. But I think the responses have been really interesting. Now, some will say the script is, you know, it's part of kind of like database information. But, I mean, you know, the algorithm's obviously picking out, you know, specific items and being... Um, there's no, it's, it's not disjointed in the in the message that it's providing. It's actually providing good quality information and good quality tactics and and recommendations. You know, and I believe that 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 it's absolutely right. It doesn't replace infosec professionals because um, there's a big fear at the moment that artificial intelligence is going to do that. It's going to replace people's jobs. Now, I can't speak for absolutely everybody here, but, I mean, as an InfoSec professional, you know, I'm eager to, to get access to um, an AI to help support my customers, my business, um, and any other business that I will be a part of either now or going forward. Um, you know, the ability to analyse the large quantities of data, the ability to, to disseminate what's going on within an environment very, very quickly, the behavioural analytics. I love all of that kind of stuff. And, and you know, ChatGPT um, put it amazingly. So, fantastic. Thank you very much then for all of you watching. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. This has been uh, my interview with ChatGPT. Thank you very much, ChatGPT, and the team behind it as well. You're doing some fantastic work. Um, long may it continue, and let's see where we are. Um, but for now, I'm going to sign off, and we'll be speaking to you soon. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye.